Sachidananda Paramatma, which is only and only one base and installation and uh, capable. to have millions of uncountable galaxies and the billions of the universes by the grace of my master we are taking the 28 वर्ष ऑफ श्रीमद भगवत गीता चैप्टर टू माय डियर फ्रेंड द कृष्ण स्टेलिंग टू अर्जुन जात स्थ जात ध्रुवोर सॉरी दैट इज नॉट अव्यक्तादी भूता व्यक्त मध्यानि भारत अव्यक्त निधना तत्र का परिवेदन अव्यक्ता दीनी भूता व्यक्त मध्या भारत अव्यक्त निधना तत्र का परिवेदना माय डियर अर्जुन these uh, the bodies of bhishma duryodhana and other persons these are all body is the body of the maya so it is not good that you do the soro for the bodies my dear arjun bharata bhutani All the living beings, avyakta dini, before the birth they are disappear, and avyakta after the death nidhani eva, after the death they will be disappear. व्यक्त मध्यानी ओनली इन बिटवीन दैट बर्थ बिफोर द बर्थ आफ्टर द बर्थ एंड बिफोर द डेथ दे आर विजिबल एंड दे आर लुकिंग लाइक प्रेजेंस इन दिस पोजिशन why are you doing the sorrow with them for them my dear friend 
the Krishna is telling about. That uh, <clears throat> every living beings before the birth invisible but it is not meaning that he is in, not in this creation and after the death he will be again invisible. Only this visibility, only this hypothetical presence by the effect of the maya, they looks visible in physical body. So why are you feeling the sorrow because without physical body they are already present. Only the physical body, the cloth of soul will change, will replace by the new cloth. So there no cause of sorrow. Sadhguru is telling in this stanza about the long, long life of micro body and the casual body. That is also a very, very secret stanza. in the series of the teaching high, highest spirituality. Because if you do not know about the surround, surroundings or the funda fundamental study of the divinity and spirituality, if you get the direct truth, you will never respect that truth, you will leave that truth. You will ignore that truth. Because you are completely unknown about that miraculous stage of Atma Jnana. But as a person who is living in a forest place, he never knows about the value of diamond or the preciousness of the diamond. He do not give the respect to the diamond, even he put his feet, his shoe on the diamond. A person who is living in the sandalwood forest, he do not know that a piece of the sandalwood is so precious. But he used the sandalwood as a fuel for cooking food. So, I see my some disciples in the very beginning when I was newly enlightened and I was newly Sadhguru. And I give them the highest stage in the meditation but I see they are, they are not curious and respecting with that highest stage. So they lost. 
my some disciples they are doing the sakshi meditation and they get silence in the mind the real meditation the thoughtless stage in the meditation but i see the disciple ignore and irrespect they do not care they do not do not stay in that silent then what happened they missed the chance that's why the krishna is telling to the arjuna my dear arjun this physical body is a very precious occasion this physical body is a very very precious chance to come out the illusion of the micro and the casual body and this is a chance to complete total freedom of awareness if a person can aware in his total freedom in this physical body then he can come out from all type of illusion of this so called immortality of the jiva i am telling so called immortality because this immortality is hypothetical this immortality is unconsciousness this immortality of the jiva stays is mesmerism of maya and this is the condition of the hypnotized by the maya my dear friends looking simple in this was you see the meaning is very simple but meaning is very deep everything you looks in general that is not general that is special so this is stanza is also a special stanza because because this stanza is giving a message a warning a awareness and a truth behind the krishna is telling to the arjuna my dear arjun it is not true that you was not present before your birth and it is also not true that you will not present after the death you will be present after the death and you was present before the birth and so called these are kings these all living beings the same they are presents before the birth and after the death but they are all, all invisible nobody can see them nobody can touch them nobody can hear them nobody can test them and nobody can smell smell them they are completely invisible and they are they are not comes in your sensory organs limitations my dear friend this stanza is telling about you not about arjuna i not about the kings this stanza is telling the fact 
of the creation of the Maya. Because the, de the death will make all of you disappear. And when you are born in this world, you are appear for a short time. My dear friend, excuse me, I want to tell you that if you are in this body, you can, you can live only 100 years. And the 100 years, they are not favorable time for you because the 14 or 15 years of your childhood they are completely innocent and without any knowledge of the divine or spirituality. The 15 to 40, 35 years you are completely caught in the storm of lust, grid and the career making of your job etc. The 42 60 or 65 only the 15 years they are good time for you then you can awake in the existence after the 65 year the body decay very fast your eyesight becomes weak your teeth give the pain your body muscles power become very big and my dear friend your body is crying from inside by different type of the problems and pain and and other and other so then your all attention you strongly become the body conscious by this body consciousness your all energy, your all worried, your all attention, your all carefulness, your all consciousness that comes in your body and you are again mesmerized by this body consciousness. And you try to yourself, best try yourself to avoid the pains and weakness and other and other. And at that time of more than 65, 70 You caught in many un incurable diseases like the blood pressure, angina, heart attack, weakness, schizophrenia, and other and other. Your sensory organs become very big, but your desires become day to day strong. You have no strong teeth, but you want to achieve the hard grains. Your stability with the physical relationship become very big, but you want lusty activities with the opposite potentiality. Your digestion become very big but you want to eat the hard digestive materials like the dry fruits, sweets and others. My dear friend, unfortunately You caught in a painful and regret and sorrowful condition 
because you are completely unsatisfied with your sensory organs, hungers and availability. The many many type of the social foundation impose on you and family foundation impose on you. So there is a crisis. There is a fighting inside of you. Your mind burnt sensory organ satisfaction, but your body is not allowed. Your society is not allowed. So what you do? Your mind creates the illusions as a dreamy, in a nightmare and the daymare. The day dreams and night dreams. So you hypothetical internal projection of the sense seen and the desires they comes and goes and make you more unstable day to day. By in this stability and stability, in this unsaturation. In this hunger of the desires, in this different type of the pain of the body, muscular pain, bone pain, joint pain, you feel very, very uncomfortable life and in this unpleasant, uncomfortable and burning hungers of the desires. One day you leave this body. And which desire and which hunger it is strongly comes your in your internal mind, intellect, mood and ego. By that desires, by that un unsatisfaction you pushed in the next birth. The stranger is very, very precious. Because everything cannot say by two lines. But there is a many, many seed, many, many complex, compact messages in every word. So, my dear friend, in India, this type of bunch of the teachings which is bounded, which is pressed, which is compressed, which is put in a stanza or in a verse, or the doha, or the chopai, or the mantras, they are called the mantras of the jnana. And there is no need Chanting these mantras, there is a need to know the secret meaning of that mantra, the stanzas, verse, and adopt them in the in the day-to-day -day life. So these mantras, these verse, they are the applied knowledge of liberation. My dear friend. The Krishna is telling to the Arjuna, you have get a very short time for enlightenment. And because when you are a child, you cannot understand the message of the Master because your consciousness is very unstable, shaky and flowing very fast toward the sensory organs and stimulations and hungers and brain is not developed to understand the Sadhguru's teachings when you are young. By the effect of the hormones the hormones becomes very, very strong and you are not get to ride on the hormonal effect, hormonal effect to ride on you. So in the young age, 
you become like a river of rain or the river of a mountain. Nobody can stop you if the stone will put in you that you are. Even you flow that is big stone also. You cut the rocks and mountains and you make your path because in the young age you are full of lust. You are full of anger. You are full of greed. You may be violent in very short and meaningless subjects. So Krishna is telling your maturity comes near about 35 or 40 and it's remaining near about 60 to or the 65. You have only Twenty-five or thirty years only in your life, your talent of life is not appropriate for enlightenment, and your beginning is also not appropriate enlightenment for enlightenment. You have a very short time to catch a master or attach with a master, and you are. Involving in meaningless sorrow. My dear Arjun, you do not know that after the death you will be become invisible and nobody can see you, nobody can feel you, nobody can talk with you. you even you will not take the food, you will not take the water, you will not enjoy anything and you cannot interact with anyone by any means. The same thing before the birth. So be careful. It is the message of the Krishna for the enlightenment. If you can understand, you, pu you put all your energy, all your power, all your effort, all your attention and all your divine love uh, with the, the master and do the meditation and get the liberation. This is the message of this stranger. My dear friend, if you do not, do not want to get liberation, I know you do not give the respect of the Atma Jnana, you don't want to give the respect to this uh, ultimate uh, knowledge of uh, liberation or ultimate knowledge of immortality. I know because you are mesmerized completely hypnotize with the worldly things, with the materials, with the false relationship, with the false norms, with the foolishness. But if you can blast a mountain by a dynamite, then you can blast a small old house by the dynamite also. So if you can get the liberation and immortality and the supreme enlightenment and complete awareness and complete freedom by the meditation, but if you do not want to get it, but you can make your physical body healthy and strong and great immune power to fight with the diseases. The same thing is that if you do this meditation which I am teaching the Sakshi meditation of awareness, you will get a very very nice mental health. So the mental health and physical health and safety from the tension created diseases. This is the first gift of this meditation for the humanity and all the globes. My dear friend, if a person will do the meditation only four or five months, he will be feel himself. 
that all the tension is coming out from his micro body or mind. And one day will come, he, he will become a tensionless person and worriedless person completely, totally. When that person will become the worriedless and tensionless and all the negativity will remove inside of him, it is a guarantee that that person will be a very strong immune power with fighting with the every disease of the physical body. Like the heart attack, angina, blood pressure, organ failure, headache, diabetes and many more. That he is the safe insured prevented by this type of diseases which is coming by the tension and worried. My dear friend, my teachers says that the worried is the living fire in your body. That is the funeral like. The gradually the worried warn yourself from inside. My dear friend, by this meditation you can get a very good strong immune power, physical health and you can save the money which unnecessary going to best in the hospital treatments. What a miraculous benefit of this meditation. The second thing is that when you do this meditation honestly your keen observation power. You can observe everything. You can see every change inside. So any fear came. You can see the fear. You can detach from the fear. You can, if the fear is hypothetical, you will laugh on the fear. And if the fear is real, you can prevent yourself by the measures. You can take the measures. So the phobia will not come. The mania will not come. Burdenless brain, no tension. So the schizophrenia will not come. Your you are become a very healthy person, no depression, no suicide, no madness, no mental hospital, no mental clinic, no mental asylums. No need of the psychiatrist. What a great benefit of this meditation. My dear friend, the next thing is that, next thing is that, if you do the meditation of awareness sakshi, then what will be happen? You can see the anger and detach from anger and you never caught in the effect of the anger like the killing, murder, fighting, abusing, it you see. So you will not go in the police station and the court trials and the jails and you will not face the insulting condition and you can again prevent your money from this type legal institutions expenditures unnecessary my dear friend when you do this meditation you can see very easily your grid and you will never never involve in any type of economic crime so this meditation teach you not only these type of precious things, but this meditation make you a very, very honest and moral person. So morality comes from inside, not imposed morality. Imposed morality never useful to anyone. My dear friend, the third benefit of this meditation and the third sector of emotional balance, when you can see the lust is coming inside of you. The body is crying for physical relationship. Your mind is making a very, very big, strong storm of the lust. 
but you are completely aware keen observator and you know the skill of detachment so you will detach from the lust and detachment from the lust is the saving from the lust prevention from the lust so lust will go away and love will remain inside of you and when the lust will go away lust cannot affect on you you can detach from the lust so you will never do any crime against a woman everybody you knows what is the crime against a woman abusing killing cutting rap kidnapping it is so the women of our world because they are the goddesses of the heaven is came on our earth they this the women are the great mercy kindness of the god they send it on the earth to give you the affection like a mother sister daughter and they are the carriers of your generations my dear friend so great women your mind is completely blind you want to use them in the lust that is a very bad use but when the lust will go and love will remain so our goddesses the women of this earth they will become the fearless they will become very peaceful so the internal ability and the miraculous qualities in the woman and they will be used in your family to make your family like a heaven my dear friend the families will change by this meditation they are become like blossom flowers because the family is the unit of the society then the society will change by this meditation they are become like a garden and the nations can change by this meditation the nations will become a very very beautiful very melodious and very sweet aroma of the brotherhood mutual affection mutual care mutual understanding mutual comfortability and caring in any time every time to others without any selfishness so these qualities when will develop in the nations the easily non violence will come there will be no fight there will be no war there will be no crisis all the nations can solve their problems on the negotiation table with the great love and affection what will be the result of this love and brotherhood and family like feelings one one big result will come that is the you are wasting your money unnecessary in the establishment of the army infrastructure and army expenditure and purchasing the warhead the making the atom bomb neutron bomb hydrogen bomb missiles war uh, the fleets uh, the torpedo submarines missile defense system star war system these all money will be saved and accumulated in your treasury then what will be happen your nations will become prosperous your person will become the loving honest and morally morally strong your person will become the physically strong mentally strong when the more and more person will do this meditation then we will we can change this world my dear friend then we will make our attention on the global warming afforestation ecological balance uh, merciful with the animals uh, merciful with our brothers and sisters uh, they are living without good food good shelter or good education my dear friend 
I read on internet in the Somalia the child are dying without the appropriate food. And this is the very same of for the world society. Very same full thing. You have a lot of money, lot of grain, lot of food. And there are 40,000. Child is, dead, is near to die and 30,000 already died. And you are eating your bread, your food, without any mercy. So, by my meditation, this type of condition will not come in this world. So, I decide many, many months ago, years ago, I will take this challenge like a mission. The name of mission is meditation of awareness. No, the name of mission is world peace by meditation. And my meditation is the meditation of awareness. I want to appeal and give you the invitation. Please come and join this meditation. Because this meditation is completely beyond all prejudiceness. This is completely non-religious meditation. Every person can do this meditation without hesitation because I am not changing the religion of the, anybody of this world. I am changing you. You are living unaware. I am giving you awareness of consciousness. My dear friend, this is the invention of spiritual science like a physical science. My dear friend, this meditation is never prejudiced with any caste, creed or nationality or any religion. That's why we are doing the meditation training camp in the various parts of this world. 24 July in Delhi, Noida, one day meditation camp. And uh, 18 in the Puerto Rico, one day meditation camp. 22 in Puerto Rico, one day meditation camp. And in between, there is a very, very nice uh, program. The total freedom of awareness in the Puerto Rico. And there is a many, many departments of the living with concerned with the, your living. There is the five or six different type of disciplines. They will, there will be giving you the training the, about the food consciousness, about the child education consciousness, about the parents, the good parenting and many more. And with this awareness meditation also. In 25 November, a meditation camp in, in New York, very nearby to the Times Square, New York. And in between, a very, very nice uh, representation or half meditation camp in the New Jersey. So all of you are invited in this camp and without any agitation. We are one. You are all my brothers and sisters. We are one consciousness. We are one love. I am yours and you are mine. We are the same heart of the God. Love you very much. Thank you very much. I make a request to you. Please subscribe my channel on YouTube. My channel name is Swami. Such a thank you very much.